Maura, qué bonito ese suéter. Gracias. Me encantan tus arcillos. Gracias. Hiciste muy buen trabajo hoy. Gracias. Oh my God, no sé tú, but saying the same thing over and over again drives me crazy. Yo soy Maura, de Spring Spanish. Please, let's look at 14 other ways to be appreciative in Spanish, like a native. Empecemos. Número uno, alternatives for gracias. ¡Feliz cumpleaños! ¡Muchísimas gracias! Toma, un pequeño detalle. ¡Ay, no tenías por qué! ¡Mil gracias! Claro que sí, es tu cumpleaños. Hoy se trata de celebrarte a ti. Bueno, un millón, de verdad. Muy bien, hay unas cuantas cosas que tenemos que descifrar de ese diálogo. Pero antes, do check that link in the description to get our free essential Spanish chunking kit. It's our curated list of most known chunks for Spanish learners. So in this situation, Carla had to say gracias a bunch of times. Let's see how she solved it. Muchísimas gracias. Muchísimas is just muchas, but bigger. Mil gracias. Very Shakespearean, isn't it? Un millón. This might be a Venezuelan thing. The whole chunk is un millón de gracias. But we say so often that we can get away with just saying the first part. No tenías por qué. I know English uses the same expression, so just know that you can use it as such. Junk alert! <laughs> Un pequeño detalle is a generic way to refer to a gift. This is because the word detalle also means, in general, something nice. You can say things like, Ella siempre tuvo detalles bonitos conmigo. And this will mean that she was always nice and kind to you. Or you can say that someone's very detallista. And that not only means they notice small things, but they are particularly nice and attentive. Por ejemplo, ustedes son muy detallistas conmigo y siempre me dejan lindos comentarios. Número 2. Being appreciative in general. Ese vestido te queda precioso. Tan bella, está a la orden. De verdad, mira que te tomo la palabra. De verdad, no me importa, seguro te queda perfecto. Tú siempre tan... ¿Tan qué? ¿Tan qué? Tan generosa, tan amable, tan cariñosa. So, sometimes you can use other chunks to sound and feel appreciative that do not require anything remotely close to the word gracias. Let's check them out. Tan bella. Esto es muy difícil de explicar. Just trust that it works as a thank you. You can substitute bella for linda, querida, Bonita. Also, per request, I made a video about things that most normative men and women would or wouldn't say. You can check that out here to see how that went. Mi punto es que most men probably wouldn't use this alternative. Tú siempre tan. I'm intentionally leaving the end open so you know you can complete this with almost anything. Pero asegúrate de completarlo o dejarás a la otra persona adivinando. To be appreciative, say things like Tú siempre tan linda. Tú siempre tan generosa. Tú siempre tan amable. Está a la orden. We like to show appreciation by offering the other person the thing that's been complimented. En el caso del diálogo, un vestido, por ejemplo. Te lo agradezco un montón. Esto es curioso porque you could say te lo agradezco by itself, but for some reason it sounds different to me. Sometimes when I hear this by itself, it's also in this context. Voy a decirles que bajen un poquito la música. Te lo agradezco. In that dialogue, saying te lo agradezco sounds more like yes, please, than thank you. But this version, te lo agradezco un montón, does feel more like a type of thank you. Cosas que pasan. Lo aprecio mucho, de verdad. Here you could definitely skip the de verdad. It's more than enough to just say lo aprecio mucho. Notice that if you say this talking about a person, it would mean you care about him. Like if I say yo lo aprecio mucho, referring to Mauricio, for instance, it would mean I care about him. Nothing to do with gracias. Número 3. Being appreciative about favors. Te traje lo que me dijiste, lo dejé en la cocina. Uf, no sabes de la que me salvaste. No te preocupes, no fue nada. 
Claro que sí, te debo una, en serio. No sabes de la que me salvaste. Te debo una. As our section title says, these two options are ideal when it comes to showing appreciation for a favor. Es clave que alguien haya hecho algo por ti. Probably after you had asked them. Dios te lo pague. No hace falta ser súper religioso para decir esto. But you do have the next option in case you're more comfortable with secular expressions. Que se te devuelva. This you could say to mean the same as before. It's about you being repaid energetically by more general powers like la vida o el universo. Eres un sol. This, just like Dios te lo pague or que se te devuelva, do not need you to have asked for anything. I say this when people do nice things too. No hace falta que te hayan hecho un gran favor. At Spring Spanish, we like being appreciative, so we do have other videos that tackle different parts of this subject. One of those is about not saying gracias para. Click the image on the screen and continue this lesson with me so you won't make this very common mistake. Nos vemos allá.